All right, guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at another example which makes use of the state hook. We will be discussing about using an object as a state variable with the use state hook. To get started, I'm going to create a new file called hook counter 3.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. For the next step, I'm going to include the use state hook. So import use state from React and within the component, const name comma set name is going to be equal to use state. This time though, the default value will be an object. The object will contain first name and last name initialized to an empty string. So this is an important point to keep in mind. A state variable can be a string, a number, boolean, an object, or even an array. You can use any of those types based on your requirement. All right, so we now have a state variable called name, which is an object, and a setter function set name to update the corresponding state variable. Next, let's define the render function. We basically want to have two input fields, one for first name and one for last name. So let's add a form tag, an input element, type is equal to text. This is for the first name and a second one for the last name. Below the input fields, we simply display the first name and the last name. I'm going to add an h2 tag. Your first name is name.firstname and similarly your last name is name.lastname. Next let's handle the value attribute and the onChange event on the two input fields. For first name, value is going to be equal to name.firstname and onChange that is Whenever the user starts typing in something, we want to set the first name property. So event arrow function call set name, which is the setter function for the name state variable. And what do we want to set? We want to set first name equal to event dot target dot value. And let's do the same for last name. I'm going to copy this input tag and replace the second one. I'm going to change value to name.lastName and in the setName function, last name is going to be equal to e.target.value. So basically, whenever the first input field value changes, we update the first name property and when the second input field value changes, we update the last name property. Let's test this out. I'm going to include hook counter three in app.js, save the files and head to the browser and type in the first input field, Vishwas. And you can see that the first name is now displayed. I start typing in the second input field and you can see that we have a problem. The last name is displayed fine, but then the first name is now empty. If I start typing in the first input field, we have the first name, but the last name is now empty. So there is something happening with the state variable. To visualize that, I'm going to go back to VS Code and add another line in the JSX. I'm going to display the name state variable. So h2 json.stringify name. If you now go back to the browser, you can see that by default, we have both first name and last name set to empty strings. Now when I start typing in the first name, the last name property is removed from the state variable. If I start typing in the last name, the first name property disappears from the state variable. The reason this happens is because useState 
does not automatically merge and update the object. This is a key difference to set state which you come across in class components. Set state will merge the state whereas the use state hook setter function will not merge the state. You have to do it manually. It's not difficult though because we can use the spread operator to handle the manual merge. So back in VS code on change in the arrow function we first spread name and then set the appropriate property. Spread the name and then overwrite last name. How you read this is hey copy every property in the name object and then just overwrite the first name field with a different value. Similarly for last name just make a replica of the name object and then only update the last name property to the new value. The spread operator which is a feature of ES6 is a very common operator in use now. If you are new to this do spend a few minutes to understand the spread operator and then resume the video. So if you now save the file and go back to the browser type in the first name the first name is updated but you can see that the last name property is preserved. Type in the last name. The first name is as it is and the last name is updated with the new value. So this is the third example I wanted to discuss to highlight one key point. The setter function provided by the useState hook does not automatically merge and update objects. You have to manually merge it yourself and then pass the value to the setter function. Now we have a similar scenario when updating arrays. So let's quickly take a look at that example in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to enable notifications.